Hi ladies, happy Friday. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. I'm so happy it's Friday. It has been a week, you guys. It's been a week. But I'm here and I'm happy to be here and I hope you guys are having an amazing uh, day and so excited for the weekend, guys. It's almost Christmas time. Um, happy Hanukkah to my um, Jewish watchers. Um, hope you guys are having an amazing holiday. Yeah, so I want to pop on um, and do a live because I feel like this um, topic lends itself to live viewing. Um, I want to talk about my most embarrassing moments wearing hair. Yep, um, I've had a lot of those. <laughs> and um, I'm sure you ladies have too. And so I just wanted to share because I feel like when we share our stories and our, you know, our embarrassing, funny things, maybe that will help one of you feel like, okay, it's happened to her, it's not that bad. <laughs> so, so let me start from the very beginning when I first started wearing hair. So my neighbor, Charnay, Charnay, if you're watching, hi, miss you. Um, she always had beautiful hair. And I was like, Charnay, how do you get your hair so silky and shiny and beautiful and thick? And she's like, girl, it's extensions. And I'm like, oh, I had no idea. Like, I thought it was her real hair. It was just amazing. So I, I asked her because my hair is pretty thin, pretty fine. And I was like, will extensions work for me? And she was like, girl, I got you. So she took me to the local beauty supply store. Sorry if you hear my little dog tippy tapping in the background. Hi, Millie. Maybe she'll say hi later. Um, <laughs> she's like, why is mom on a live video? So anyway, we're at the beauty supply store and she's like, all right, you can get this kind of hair and this kind of hair. And I looked at the price of human hair and like deer and headlights eyes. <laughs> it was so expensive. And um, I didn't even know what kind of hair it was. <clears throat> it was in this pack. And I'm like, uh, what about this other hair that's like, I think it was like 50 bucks for two packs and it was synthetic hair. She's like, yeah, that's what I use. I use synthetic hair. It's fine. Um, she was gonna glue it in, in, onto my head. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. So I bought the hair, we went back to her house and she, um, they come in like tracks, long tracks. So she split the tracks for me because the tracks were too thick. <laughs> they would have um, shown through my own hair because it was so fine. And she glued it to my head and she was like, okay, after she finished gluing it, she says, sorry, Charney, I'm telling on you. She says, all right, now you know you can't wash this, right? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, anybody that has fine thin hair knows how greasy and oily it gets. And like, I have to wash my hair, my bio hair every day if I wanna wear just my bio hair because it's just so greasy and gross if I don't. <laughs> She's like, well, try dry shampoo until you know you can't and you have to wash it but try to not wash it for as long as possible i was like okay well this thing's glued to my head now i guess i gotta do what she says so i did and i waited and i think i lasted about a week and then it was just obvious it was it was oil and dry shampoo clumps everywhere it was it was a mess so i got in the shower washed my hair as soon as I got out, that glue started to like come loose from my scalp and it actually kind of hurt. It was pulling them out on my hair. And so I went two doors down. It's like, Charnay, what do I do? She's like, I can glue it back down for you or you could take it out, but it's going to hurt. I'm like, Let me just take it out. So I yanked out, oh my gosh, so much of my own hair. So that was my very first experience with hair extensions. I had them glued on. Do not recommend. <laughs> If you do it, maybe, I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I did not do the best way, but it is what it is. So fast forward a few years and I'm making a little more money. I have a better job and I look into getting tape in extensions, but I'm very thrifty. And so I went on AliExpress.com um, and checked out different Chinese vendors and found these tape in human hair extensions that were, I think they cost me like $100. And I was like, okay, I can make this work. Um, so my friend was a hairdresser 
she put them in for me all the while. She was like, um, yeah, these, I usually get my extensions from such and such company. I don't know how well these are going to do all while she's, you know, putting the tape ins in my hair. I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Well, the bottom was great. It gave me the length like I, like I have now, but she put, put them right here. And because my hair is blonde, you could totally see through and see the little tape places. So I tried my best to like conceal that. And it was okay for a while until my nephew's graduation from high school. And we're at his graduation and my head's like itching on the back. So I'm like, eh, whatever, I've got a, whatever, loose hair. So I go to the restroom at this Coliseum where they're getting, you know, they're graduating. It's their whole school. And I, and I'm, you know, itching my head and a whole piece of hair comes out. <laughs> and little did I know, you could see all the like tracks on the back of my head, not the tracks, the, the tape and extensions on the back of my head. My husband didn't tell me, by the way. It's like, thanks a lot, hubs. Thanks for that. Um, so I come out of the bathroom holding hair, like, <laughs> supposed to do with this and so we're waiting for the graduates to come out and I'm like against the wall like nobody look at the back of my head because I'm so embarrassed <laughs> like, I didn't realize everybody in Greensboro North Carolina where he was graduating could see all of my track stuff so that was super embarrassing. Stuck the hair in my pocket, went back to um, my sister-in-law's house and proceeded to take out all of the loose pieces myself. Again, ripping my own hair out of my head. <laughs> so, it's just, uh, I laugh about it now, but at the time I was mortified. Who else has had any experience like this? Only me? Um, maybe it's only me, but if you've had experiences like this, I would love to hear about them. You make me feel a lot better. Um, so then I started buying Halo extensions, not from Halo Couture or anything like that. These were um, synthetic ones. Again, AliExpress, I couldn't quit them. So because they were cheap, I bought some Halos. And because it's synthetic hair, you can only wear it a few times. You can't really, I mean, you can wash it, but it's gonna get tangly and gross and so, I wore it for like special occasions. It was so obvious, you guys. Cause you know what a halo is. It's like a little clear wire and then you put your hair on top of, of it. Well, the texture, because it's synthetic, was very different than my bio hair. And my bio hair on the top is very thin. And so you could just see, you could see the wire. If you're right there, you could see it. Um, and it just, it just looked so bad, you guys. And I didn't, I didn't realize it until finally my husband one day said, you know, you might not want to wear this anymore. And he wasn't being mean. And I really appreciate him for that. He's like very honest. And like, if I come out in an outfit and he thinks it looks bad, he'll tell me. And I appreciate that. He is very honest. I don't want to go out looking like a crazy person. So I appreciate that. However, point out that he did not tell me about the tracks that were coming out the back of my head at his nephew's graduation, but you know, we're over that now. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, so after Halos, I was like, well, what the heck do I do? I thought about getting the sew-in tracks, super expensive, also very bad for attraction alopecia because they just pull on your own hair. Like they, they make tiny braids and then they sew it into, um, to those tiny braids. So it's just, it's bad for hair breakage. Then I discovered toppers and I love them. You guys know, you guys know my love affair with toppers. So anyway, those are just a few of my embarrassing moments of wearing hair. Thank you everyone for joining. Hi, Deb Green, Gray Seal, uh, Rock Mus, Penny, Jane Love. Love it that you guys are here. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm surprised you're wanting to hear me ramble about my most embarrassing moments, but I feel like I need to share them because I feel like a lot of us have them and think we are the only ones. So um, just so you know, 
I have a hair company now and I still had all of that crazy stuff happen. And, um, you know, here I am. I'm still here. Yes, it was embarrassing. Now I can laugh about it. So anyway, happy Friday. Hope you got a kick out of my silly stories and, um, hope you all have an amazing weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.